All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. Uh, so here it is, man. We are getting ready to dive into this guy right here. This is the Rock Island Armory VR80. I bought this, and then after I bought this, I saw this, and it was on sale for $319. And this is, I was like, I, okay, I got to have it. So this, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I feel that trigger pull. Oh, my God. So this is, uh, God, it could be the year of the shotgun. Uh, this is, what is the hell is this thing? The Panzer Arms. This is their EXG500. And I figured if we get this guy to run really, really good, you put a 10-round magazine, go ahead and keep another 10-round magazine with you upstairs, then you have yourself, well, ladies and gentlemen, an, an awesome home protection gun. And I'm pretty sure this thing will run with buckshot. But the trigger on this bad boy, the functionality... The ambidextrous charging handle, which I like mine over here because boom, 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 get a malfunction or if not. Anyway, the trigger is stupid smooth. But what are we doing? Well, we are getting ready to go into the open division uh, and three gun. And what I wanted to do was start with something that one I can afford. Okay, um, the kind of guy I want to go ahead and put something together. And uh, so I started watching vi YouTube videos, okay? Everybody watches the YouTube videos. And I gotta be honest with you, one of the things that came away with all those is the VR80 uh, versus like the Typhoon. There's a couple other ones out there. Uh, shit, the Genesis 12, I can't do that. <laughs> um, this was pretty cool because the VR80 from Rock Island Armory uh, has so many aftermarket accessories as well as accessory from Rock Island Armory where you can take this thing to where it doesn't look stupid with this damn stock thing on it, right? Uh, and you can change it out to pretty much turn yourself into a top-notch uh, three-gun or competition-level shotgun. And it could rival uh, some of the best out there. Uh, I know a lot of the guys that I was shooting with down there at the Tar Heel Challenge, a couple of people were running this thing. And what essentially, what we're going to do, this is going to become part of a series, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this part because I haven't done a whole lot of shotgun stuff, except for when I did the uh, the Benelli and the M2, and I found out by the time I get down there, no, we can't run uh, dots on the, on your shotgun if you're shooting in the carry optics division. So let's go ahead and screw that. We're going to go ahead and run with the open division. And what are we going to do to this thing? And I'm going to go through the series with you. Uh, we're going to replace all this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Uh, we're going to install a new trigger, okay? And uh, I really want to give a big shout out to, and I can't remember his damn name. Hold on. His name is Red Armory, and I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, I really like his channel because he reminds me of me when I first started out. Really cool guy uh, that has the spirit, uh, the love of what he's doing. And I tell you, he's the one that directed me to the new trigger. All right, so one of the things I was going to do is in the trigger is I was going to opt for the Elf trigger because it's specifically designed for the VR80. But I read the reviews, and all of a sudden I turned around, and yeah, I was no. Uh, uh, I went with the Timney uh, Impact SG, which means shotgun, and it's designed specifically for this. And uh, that gentleman I spoke about before, he actually installs one, and I guess it runs pretty good. It says he had good luck with it. The trigger on this guy is horrible. Um, it's like eight pound pull and it's just grab ass is horrible edgy a lot of stuff going wrong with us okay so secondly what are we going to do is i am going to replace the handguard it's going to be a full length handguard it's going to come out here and you're going to get the big ass muzzle break on the end of it so it's going to be a long dong happy dong uh, but it's going to be fun to deal with and then you're going to put a nice red dot on top of it and you know what i have an eotech that i've been looking to put on something for a long time and we might just run that I'm, I'm missing one of my, uh, um, I've got a, a red dot made by SIG. It's the uh, uh, the Pro 3 XL or whatever it is. I can't find a damn thing. I was going to plan on putting it on here. But with the uh, the, the, the deal with the uh, EOTech is at a perfect height. And you know what? I don't have to worry about it going or being damaged from the impact of this thing. So. There's a lot of upgraded parts on this thing that we're going to do. I'm going to bring you along for the journey. It's going to be a badass journey, I expect. Uh, but I can't wait to take this thing out and shoot it. We are going to run the AA Super Sports with it. Uh, hopefully this will get it through. Uh, the velocity on these is basically the same thing as some high brass. They say you need to put 250 rounds through it. We're going to lube the shit out of it and uh, run, like hell, run it like hell. 
I'm hoping some of these uh, small items, we're going to play with it and we'll figure it out, uh, will change. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the safety lever, take a couple of uh, coils out of it so it turns, rotates smoothly and doesn't have to break your hand to get it done. I'm going to order a couple other items on here, but the accessories, uh, if you have the need for a new bolt, you can buy a new bolt for like $25. I mean, it's just, it's sick, and that's why we did it. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an upfront deal. We're going to have fun with this thing. Uh, it's easy to tear down and take apart. Uh, very simple, very easy, and it's just like that. Um, wow, that thing was loose. And, you know, we're going to do things. And there's a couple other guys, uh, and I can't remember their uh, YouTube channel, but I watched it last night. They were talking about items that you can do in an effort to uh, get this thing taken apart. The gas rings that go in and out of this bad boy. Um, let's go ahead and pull this back, hold on. I might be screwing this up, I don't know, we'll see. Yep, all right, well, we'll figure it out. So with that being said, guys, man, it's light. It's really not too heavy. Um, we'll do the whole full thing, transition, and we'll go, and I'm, I'm probably gonna take this thing out of town with me this week. I'm gonna go ahead and run some of the AA Super Sports, see through it. I was told by the guys, the gurus over there, to take, where the hell is it at, a uh, powder blast or some just brake cleaner, and I'm going to clean the snot out of it, get all the oil and grease that comes from the factory. Uh, we'll check it for everything under the sun and make sure it all works. That's it. The VR80. And the adventure begins. And then we're going to do something with that bad boy right there. I'm going to take it out of town and shoot it anyway. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you're looking forward to the journey. It's going to be a blast, I believe. I believe. And then, uh, oops, got to put that back in there. Uh, yeah, a part like that. It's like $15. Uh, the gas rings are it's silly. If they're cheap as I'll get out too. Um, it's just uh, it's some, a lot of things that you can do to make this thing run reliably, from what I've been told, if it doesn't run reliably. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. It's KB32. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Please do me a favor. Run over there and subscribe to my buddy down at the uh, Red Army or whatever the channel's name is. I don't mean to say it like that. But anyway, y'all be good. It's been a hell of a long day. Take care. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom!